Hey, what's up everybody? Let's jump into a quick sneak peek inside of PhotoRaw 2024, and I'll show you how to customize your Brilliance AI settings to fit your photo workflow. With Brilliance AI, I really enjoy using it for my wildlife photography. I can instantly develop my tone and color while also automatically removing any noise that's left in that scene as well. So let's jump into PhotoRaw 2024 and let's modify those preferences to fit our photo workflow. Inside of PhotoRaw 2024 here, to modify or access those Brilliance AI settings, it's incredibly easy to do. All we have to do is open up our Preferences dialog. To open up Preferences, the fastest and easy way to do it is simply by holding down Command and Comma on your keyboard. So inside of our Preferences dialog here, we're going to go into this Brilliance AI tab. Within this tab, we can modify it to fit our particular photo workflow. Now with the white balance default, you can choose to have your white balance default at a particular temperature, or you can just choose to have it automatically develop for you. This next one, apply no noise AI to raw photos above is referring to the ISO within that particular image. So if you're photographing wildlife on a regular basis and you like to use Brilliance AI to modify those images, I would highly recommend using this no noise option here because you can automatically apply that noise reduction if you reach a certain ISO number. I typically like to use 1600. I don't really go below that to remove any noise. I, around 800 or 400, probably not a whole lot of grain going on in the scene, but once we hit 1600, that's probably where I start automatically removing that noise from my wildlife photos. So I'm just gonna choose that there. That way, whenever I open up a wildlife image or any photograph that has an ISO of 1600 or above, it's going to automatically remove that noise within that scene if I enable Brilliance AI. Now you can do the same thing to portraiture. So if you're a portrait photographer and you're looking to apply portrait AI to faces within your scene, you could choose to enable this option that says apply portrait AI to prominent faces. That way, whenever you enable Brilliance AI on a portrait and it determines that there's faces within that scene, it's going to automatically apply that portrait AI filter to those faces. I typically don't shoot a whole lot of portraiture, so I'm just gonna leave this off there. And then we also have customized Brilliance AI down here, which will allow you to modify the strength of these settings in action whenever you enable Brilliance AI. So if you want the default to be a little less strong or a little more intense, you can modify that with the amount here. You can also adjust individual settings with your midtones, contrast, temperature, and vibrance. Let's say you like your color a little more subdued. You could pull down on this vibrance slider here to ensure that whenever Brilliance AI is enabled, it doesn't increase that saturation or vibrance as much as it usually does. So by modifying these different sliders here, you can fine tune how Brilliance AI adapts its tone and color settings to your particular photo workflow. And there's one last option down here right at the bottom and it's this apply local adjustments automatically. With this enabled, it's going to apply local adjustments into different regions of your image based on what the AI detects within the scene. So for example, within a landscape, it may find the sky, some foliage, maybe some mountainous areas within the scene, and it's going to apply local adjustments automatically to either enhance those areas or recover highlights or shadows. So if you don't want that to happen, I would recommend turning this op off or disabling it there within this apply local adjustments automatically option. I'm just gonna leave this enabled there so that I can get those local adjustments applied automatically. And let's actually just go reset these different settings there back to their default. And one last thing, once you have these settings modified the way you want them and you've modified these different options, be sure to head down to this OK button here so that it saves these options within the preferences. So I'm gonna choose OK there. And I've saved those preferences for my Brilliance AI modifications. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna grab this photo here, this wildlife image, and if I go into Info, I have around 2800 ISO, so not too intensive ISO, but if I zoom in, there is quite a bit of noise and grain within this scene. 
So let's just head into the edit module here. So inside of the edit module here, let's just head over to Brilliance AI and let's enable this. So with Brilliance AI enabled here, it's gone and modified some of that tone and color for me. And you can see it's brought out a lot of these sort of middle gray tones and some of these brighter tones to really make this photo stand out a bit more. Well, another thing that it's gone in and it's done is it's gone into my noise and sharpening and it's automatically removed that noise with no noise AI. So if I zoom in here, compared to earlier when we were looking at that noise and grain within the scene, we have very little, if any, within the scene and we have all of that detail back within our bird here. So with Brilliance AI, it's gone in, it's modified that tone and color, while also at the same time removing any of that noise within the scene and ensuring that I have all of that detail and quality that I was looking for in this wildlife photo. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, in just one instant click with Brilliance AI, we went from this photograph with a sort of dull, flat look and quite a bit of noise to this image with a nice warm look to it. We have a lot more pop within those middle grays and we have no noise within that background or the detail of our bird here. So that's how to use Brilliance AI preferences to customize your photo workflow. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you inside the next sneak peek.